Hello everyone, it's Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating for all of you a quick and simple way for you to add multiple cover options for your digital notebooks so that your students can easily from one file, not many, be able to go in and change the cover of their digital notebook to the cover that they desire. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do in order to accomplish this is go ahead and go into the master slides of your original file. So here, um, if you're not really sure what that means, make sure you check out my first digital notebook video that I had made. Um, and here is my original cover. So you'll notice this, you'll recognize it from the first video. Okay. What you're gonna wanna do is once you see, you're clicked on it, and once you see that that blue line is around the outside, okay, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to hit um, on a Windows computer, Control D. On a Mac, you're gonna hit Command D and it'll make a duplicate. Uh, you can also just as easily right click and hit duplicate slide. Uh, it's gonna work just as easy. You see here, your duplicate layout. Um, but I just, sometimes I like to use the shortcuts because they are a little easier. So there you go. Then you're gonna to wanna to click on your new duplicate. Okay, make sure that that blue is around here. Okay, and then literally all I did was I went to Google image here and I just typed in rainbow pattern um, here. I can click the glitter one. I know all the young girls, they love glitter these days. Okay, I can choose this pattern here. Okay, this is nice. And then literally once you find all of the patterns you want, you're just gonna right click and then you're gonna hit save image as and just save them to your computer. Okay, so whether it's sports or video games or uh, unicorns, glitter, I mean, you name it, you can find patterns for almost anything. Um, my recommendation is to do that first, go through that step and then save all of the images to your computer. And then once you come back here, all you have to do is duplicate the slide, go to the shape here that is the front cover, uh, once you have that highlighted, you see the box around it, you're gonna right click, go to where it says replace image, and then click upload from computer. And I only downloaded one image, so it should be the last one that I just did right here on top. Okay, it's going to change that. There you go, it looks perfect. Okay, and then from there, you can always just go back and click on the original slide. Um, you can make a duplicate of this one and you're just gonna go ahead and that's what you're gonna do for all of them. And it's, it's really easy because you don't have to go ahead and recreate all of these shapes that you use to make the digital notebook in the first place, which is great. Um, the only thing that you might wanna do and it's depending on the color that are in the patterns. If you, if I scroll down here, you'll see for the football one that I have, I changed the binding to black. And for that, literally, all you have to do is just click on the shape that makes the binding. And then when the paint can pops up at the top, um, as soon as my computer catches up with me, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, you're going to go ahead into the paint can and then just choose a different color. So um, it's really not hard to do that. And again, you know, here we go. There's the paint can, okay? So you see it's black. I can change it back to white if I really wanted to. Um, but for this one, I thought that it, it looked better, the color that, that I had changed it to in the first place. So that's that. Now, um, what I have done in advance already was I went ahead to my uh, personal practice Google Classroom. And I always tell everyone in my videos that I always think that it's a really good idea for you to have a separate account from your work account where you can create a Google Classroom, where you can post things, and then a separate account for you to go in and add yourself as a student. So if I ever have questions as to how something's gonna look in a student view, or if students are gonna be able to access certain portions of um, an assignment that I put out, or my, my interactive classrooms, you know, you, you have no questions. You can always post it yourself and then play around with it until you get it the way that you want. So um, here, and this is a, a separate account that I have for my daughter. Uh, she's only seven, so she doesn't use it yet, but I like to send her like little love notes and kind of write about milestones that she's achieved so that when she gets older, she's able to open them and, you know, see the things that she did throughout her life. Um, so in the meantime, I use her account to um, act as a student. And you can tell that this is a student account because it doesn't have the option to look at the grades up here. Now from here, I'm just going to go to classwork. Oh, and again, if you are interested in the animated banner, I do have a tutorial on my channel for that as well. Um, but here, once you go into classwork, you'll see here it says digital notebook and it says welcome to your digital notebook. Click on the speaker icon in the top left hand corner of the notebook to learn how to customize your front cover. So what I did, um, and this is just preference, you can always write written directions for your students on how to do this. Uh, I wanted to 
put an audio file in. I do have a tutorial on my channel on, on how to use Vokaroo. It's a free website where you can create audio files. Um, my only word of caution is to just make sure that when you're uploading those audio files from your computer to your Google Drive is to make sure you go into the um, share settings and make sure that you change the share settings to anyone with the link can view. Otherwise, um, when the students click on the icon, it's going to say request access and you definitely don't want that. So basically, it just tells them, you know, um, hello students, if you would like to change the front cover of your notebook, right click on the front cover, click where it says apply layouts, and then scroll through the options that you have until you find the cover that you like. Once you found one that you're happy with, all you have to do is left click on the cover to change the cover of your digital notebook. Okay. Um, so there you go. And you'll see this is from a student's point of view. They're able to go ahead and change it on their own. Okay, so now they have a customized front cover. Now you don't have to worry about putting a, a, a grade for these when you're posting them. If you don't want to, it really depends on how you plan on utilizing because you can always go ahead into your Google Drive and um, in, into your classroom folder. Okay, if you're curious as to what that looks like, um, I'll show you quickly. Um, any updates that your students make on theirs, you'll be able to go ahead into your drive. And I will open mine right now to show you. Um, something else, uh, and just as I'm going into this, when you create a Google Classroom, Google Classroom will automatically in your correlated drive make a folder called Classroom. You definitely don't want to delete this. Some people accidentally delete it because they think, oh, look, I didn't make that, you know, I don't need it. This is where Google Classroom houses all of your students' work. So if I click into this folder, okay, and I click into where it says practice class, and you'll see the little icon with the person pops up. Okay, right here it says digital notebook. Now, I only have one student in that class, so, you know, Rosalie's is the only one that's going to pop up, but this is where I would go into to check on any progress that the students are making in their digital notebooks. So I really hope that this video helped all of you. If you liked it and it helped, please hit the like button. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss my future resources. Take care, everyone.